everyone, I am Panda Pops and I like to bring you blockchain gaming and crypto related content. Today we are doing something a little bit different to what I would normally do as the queen of voxels. Most of the time you expect me to do vox edit content. Well, today is different. Today I bring you Game Maker. I'm going to be going over one particular subject. I don't know whether I'm going to be giving you Game Maker tutorials at all. It's not my forte. However, th this is this is more personally for me. Uh, it's teleportation. I'm going to be showing you how to to basically how to do teleporting within the sandbox game maker. This is something I use a lot in my games. And weirdly enough, any time that I spend more than two to three weeks away from doing that mechanic, I forget how to do it. And I have to go back to a uh, have a look and I have to look over and re-look over and try and figure it out and there's always like one thing I've written incorrectly or one thing I've done differently to everything else. So I'm, I'm basically making this video for myself. So next time I get stuck, I have to keep going back and forwards, just come back to my own video. So it's for me, but it's also for you guys too. Before we get started, once again, don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload brand new videos. And if you are interested in more Game Maker tutorials, then definitely tune in to the Sandbox official streams, as well as checking out some of the live streamers that create content like this, such as Half Dork, uh, King of Crypto, OG Shakespeare, Vpire. We've got many, many amazing people that create this sort of content that have way more experience than I do. But once again, this is for me. This is for me to recall back. And at the same time, I might as well share it among you lovely humans. Let's actually get into this. So I have already opened up a game and I've got a few things already set out. First thing is we've got the house. This is where we are going to have our teleportation. We're going to appear here. Uh, let's just make it a little bit prettier. Let's just place a few trees. We don't need to. I'm just making it pretty. And then over here, this is where we're going to be teleporting to. We're teleporting inside. The first thing I'm going to do is go to global parameters. Now, once again, this is in reference to how I do things. There may be better ways to do this. This is just how I do it and it works for me. So what I'm going to do is go to controller, components, and then I'm changing instant death to, to kill avatar and death delay. I'm putting on minus two. Respawn tag is checkpoint. Make sure you've got that as well. So I put death delay at minus two. Death event, respawn to tag. The tag is checkpoint and instant death message is kill avatar. So these are the things. This is what I actually didn't realize I was, I'd started a new game and it auto does it on just kill, not kill avatar. When I was trying to do teleportation and it wasn't working and I knew everything I had done correct was correct, uh, it was this. I hadn't changed this. It was saying kill, so instead of kill avatar. So just make sure that this says the stuff that you need it to say. I changed mine to kill avatar, checkpoint, and minus two, respawn to tag. So what we're gonna do now is start our teleportation. So we're gonna grab a sign. So I'm just getting this one. You don't need to use this. You could probably use uh, just a rod or something else. And this is going to be our asker. So when you go to the door of the house to interact with it, it's going to ask you a question. And the question is, and we'll have a simple yes and no. Another good thing I would get in the habit of doing is changing the name. So this is, um, I'm gonna name this teleport one house. And so the message sent is where you are. So where you are is the house. So I'm gonna put, I'm going to put house. I'm going to put house because that's where we are. We are we are at the house. So we've done this, the house. I like to think of uh, message one sent is where you are, where this sign is. What is this sign for? The sign is for the house. That's where you are. That's where the player is or it's where this sign is for. 
Uh, another thing to make sure is make sure you put no collisions and you will want to turn this off, but I'm going to turn that off in a moment. You can pretty much use that. You don't need to use signs. I just like to use signs. I'm going to use my ramen sign because it's just, it's optimized. It's an optimized asset to use. There's no animation on it. And then what we are going to do on this one. So for this, the behavior is an asset spawner. That on zero. The asset we want it to spawn, I like to use the flagstone. So we're going to go with ornate flagstone, behavior, nothing, tags. The tag we want on this is checkpoint. So this, this is our checkpoint. Physics, we want no collisions. No collisions on that. We don't need anything for components or behavior. The message required. It's going to be where we're going. This is, this is going to be the other area, so inside. I'm going to just name it inside, add inside, and name it inside. And the delay can just stay as one. I'm going to add component to be a speaker. Start off display for one, look at target false, uh, detect entity, and then we want specific tags in range, detection range. We don't want it huge. Probably want it a two or a three. There we go. Message to send will be avatar teleported. Broadcast all and once. And we want to include the tag avatar up here. That's because we put specific tags in range. So we're just including avatar up at the top here. Going to put in our concrete. The three house. No behavior. It is a speaker. Putting it as a speaker. One, look at target false. And detect entity. Let's edit logic. So make sure you go and then once again, uh, specific tags. Going to include the tag that is avatar. Range, we're going to put it as two. Message to send is going to be kill avatar. Make sure you do kill avatar all at once. Our next section is a numpad. You can use a numpad. I'm using my own sort of more optimized version. I usually use this more for long speaker uh, logics, but it works with this as well. No collisions. T4 house. The behavior is void. Visible false. 111. Activation is on receive message. So we want this to, to do it once it receives the message. The message is going to be avatar teleported. Uh, don't destroy blocks. We don't want to destroy the blocks and only destroy it from list. Go to our thing and we're going to destroy the ornate flagstone. So the asset we're spawning, but also destroying. It's going to spawn that and then it's going to destroy us and create the checkpoint right now. I'm going to highlight all of these and we're going to duplicate it. Whoops. I'm going to drag it all the way over our little doorway over here. The only things you'll be needing to change is the first sign and the second sign. So do you want to enter? We could change to, do you want to leave? And then we're going to change it to where we are, which is we are inside. So use inside. We've already typed it for the other one. So we're using inside. Then this one, we go to edit, edit logic. We go down to... <laughs> We go to the asset spawner, message required. We are now putting that for the outside place. So our house, so we use house. So we're using the opposite of what it requires. It requires house. If you've got one where you need it to go to multiple, maybe a question gets asked and you can go to one of two places, then you would add a message there um, and it would base it off of you know, which one was chosen. But we're doing a very, very simplified just teleportation from one place to another. 
Uh, I would also fully suggest renaming these because these are still T2 house. So you'd want to rename them to, you know, inside or something like that. So we're going to go in. We've spawned in. Oh no. I did so wrong. Okay, guys, I went a little wrong. I typed once again, like I said, I always type one thing incorrectly or I miss a number. I am so silly. So, uh, it's the it's the uh the concrete slab I did incorrectly. I told you guys to include tags avatar. No, it's checkpoint. This is checkpoint. Now, just remember that if you did exactly what I did, you were following it on, <laughs> following along. Uh, one. I'm gonna add this right after, like I'm gonna put a thing up on the screen that says include tags is checkpoint, not avatar. You followed it along and you duplicated it before changing the include tags, then you're going to have to go over to the other one to test that. So once again, let's just quickly go through what each one of these needs. So your first sign is the asker. It's going to ask you, uh, if you want to enter the house, so message required is interact. You're going to interact with it. Uh, question, do you want to enter? Put your answers. Then A1 message. So if yeah, if answering yes is that you want to enter, you do message sent and I name it where this is. So this is the house. You're at the house. So I've named it a house. Like message sent is house. Always name it something that you can remember. So it's much easier to do this. And then that's all you need to do for that one. That one's that one's done. Then we go on to the second sign. This is an asset spawner and a speaker. So let's do the asset spawner first. So you are going to have spawn off offset all on zeros. You're going to spawn. I always choose a flagstone. You don't have to. Behavior, none. Tags, checkpoint. Then nothing there. No collision. Make sure there's no collision. Message required. This is where you're going to end up going to. What, what area are you, is this sending you? This is sending me inside. So the message required is inside. Then we go on to the components, which is speaker. So include tag avatar, which comes in over here because the speak condition. So include tags won't be here first. It'll only be when you go down and it's speak condition. You want it to detect entity and detection type, specific tags in range, include tags avatar. Message to send, avatar teleported. So what's going to happen? Like when you spawn this asset, what is happening? You are teleporting the avatar. The avatar teleported. And then these stay as they are. Concrete floor. Make sure the collisions turned off on all of these assets. So this one is a speaker. You only have to worry about speaker. Include tags, checkpoint. Exclude tags. You don't need to add this. This is one I've not added on any others. When I was trying to fix it, I was like, is it because it didn't have this? You don't need that on there. It just you can, but it's not needed. Speak condition, detect entity. It wants to detect you. Uh, detection type, specific tags in range, um, which is checkpoint. Uh, detection range, put the range up. Message to send, kill avatar. So this is where we did the thing in our global pra parameters. Kill avatar, broadcast all and once. Then we have the void. So this is our numpad. We, the behaviors avoid. Activation mode, on receive message. The message required to activate the void is avatar teleported. We don't want to destroy the blocks around us, or at least in this instance we don't. Asset destruction, only destroy from list. And then we choose whatever your asset you're spawning is. So the asset for destroying is the one that your other sign has spawned. So you want those to be the same. So whatever you chose to spawn as your asset spawner is what you are destroying. So make sure they are the same. Then highlight all of those, duplicate. And then when you're over here, the only, the only two things you need to think about changing is the message sent. So that's where you are, that, or at least that's how I name it. It's where, where you are. Uh, so it's inside. So I've named it inside. And the other sign is uh, message re required is house for that one. 
Let's just double check that we have all this working now. Go up to the door. Do you want to enter? Do I want to enter? What happens if I press no? Nothing, nothing enters. We go up to the door. Do you want to enter? Yes. And there we go. We've been successfully teleported to our giant chaired house where the collisions on that chair are there and our bed. We can now lay on. Hopefully you guys found this helpful. I know I'm going to be referring back to this uh, in the future. I use teleportation so much, it's a little bit annoying that that hasn't stuck in my head properly yet, but I'm sure it will do. Hopefully you guys find this helpful. I'm at least going to find it helpful for myself. As always, have a good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the metaverse. I will see you next time. Goodbye.